Welcome to El Valle de Guadalupe. Last week we drove 30 minutes from Ensenada to El Valle de Guadalupe. Valle de Guadalupe has hundreds of different wineries and tasting rooms to choose from, so it would be impossible for us to visit everything during our short stay here. So what we're going to do is try and pick out the best of what there is to do here. We found a highly rated restaurant we're going to visit, a wine garden, and go on a wine tasting tour. So hopefully we can give you a good idea of what a visit to Valle de Guadalupe is like. Now that we've stocked up on groceries, we are going to try and visit some of the local wineries in Valle de Guadalupe. So I think there are a few really good local wineries where we can go and sit outside, drink some wine. It's already like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, like 37 degrees Celsius. So we want to find a cool spot to just chill and try some of the local wine. Perfect. Chicos, okay. me permiten. This is a taco that is a taco de empanizado with panko, rajas de chile huero, chile california, que no pican absolutamente nada, y tortilla hecha mano. There are two places where you can try the wine at the Monte Chenique Vineyard. We were originally recommended to go to the Terraza to do a wine tasting, but they, once we got to the vineyard, it, they told us that it was by a reservation only and they didn't have any space left for today. So the second option was to go to the restaurant by the lake and so we that's where we decided to go and I'm really happy that we came here because I, I like wine but I like food more than alcohol so I, I liked that at the restaurant they had a tasting menu for the food which was it was incredible one of the best tasting menus I've had and we had five courses and it, each one was just impeccable just really perfectly balanced each each course and to accompany our five course tasting menu we tried the wine so Jorge had a red wine and I had a Sauvignon Blanc which was really good like I don't know that much about wine but I really liked it and um, I do know a little more about food and really love the food and would totally recommend the food and the wine this is a top a top thing to do is come to the vineyard Monte Chanique and visit the restaurant. I think we'll try and make a reservation to go to the terraza another time, but for now I can I really recommend you come here because it's it's a beautiful experience. We made it to the second winery for the day. First we went to Monte Chanique, and now we're at a place called De Cantos. The two are very different, so this place is, it's a big open kind of like wine garden, and there's lots of picnic tables, and the music's bumping, and there's lots of groups, so I think it's a good place, like kind of more party vibe, and if you want to come with a big group, I think it's really good for that.
Have you tried it yet? Try it. Agua mineral, salud. You like it? Ninety nine degrees. What is it in Celsius? 28. 38 degrees Celsius. It's hot and it's on it's only ten thirty in the morning. We just arrived to the vineyard uh, called Corona. Uh, it's a vineyard that Jesse found online and apparently there is amazing food here. Yeah, I chose this place because it seemed to have good food, it's pet friendly so Colima can come with us, they have outdoor seating and it seemed like a, it had lots of shade because it's a hot day. Salud. You're gonna like it. I love it. You? Yeah. What she got there? Um, food is pretty good, but what was really, really good was the wine. We decided to buy a bottle. Like we didn't know if we wanted to buy a bottle because in the in the van we are in like dirt roads, the van moves a lot, sometimes the stuff falls and we were afraid to buy like a nice wine uh, so thanks to our sponsor Exire now we can bring our wine, our favorite wine from Valle de Guadalupe so far and we can bring it with us it's Corona del Valle que is a Malbec 2017 well, like this, our, our wine is gonna be very protected and ready for the third growth in the van. Uh, well, since it's the wine that we like the most, we decided to go on, um, in, on a tour with uh, Corona del Valle on their storage where they make the process and they're gonna explain to us a little bit about the, their brand and also I think we're gonna have a tasting uh, straight from the barrels. Sounds interesting. Um, so, see you later in the storage. I bet it's going to be very fun. Muy buenas tardes, bienvenidos a Corona del Valle. Mi nombre es Nancy. Eh, les platico un poquito sobre nuestra nuestro viñedo. Es una, nuestro proceso de elaboración de, de vino. <coughs> ¿Por qué el Valle de Guadalupe es tan bueno para crecer bien? Mm, la ¿Por principal aquí? Uh -huh. es que se encuentra dentro de la franja del vino, que le llamamos, ¿no? El paralelo 
si no me equivoco, es el 31.8 en el que estamos. Y las condiciones climáticas son totalmente favorables para la producción. Aquí en el Valle de Guadalupe está excelente. Esa es una condición climática y de suelo que le da a las plantas. Yes, we are very happy that we were able to make this video happen. It was a little hard for us to choose where to go because here in Valle de Guadalupe there are a lot of wineries. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we liked it so much that next week we're going to stay in Valle de Guadalupe again and we're going to show you amazing stuff about it. We have great stuff planned. I think we were both really surprised at how much we loved Valle de Guadalupe. The food, the wine, the setting. Thanks for following along as we explored Valle de Guadalupe. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more. It really helps our channel out a lot. See you next week. Bye.